most of us saw it. And it'll have sort of white fluffy seeds. What I did was just chop it off at the top and then pull the leaves and everything off so it was easy to store. So do you want to get it in the fall or? You don't, you don't, you want it to dry out yeah. first. So yeah. it'll look, it'll look like this more dry. I picked the green one so you can see just what the seed like. pods look like. And it has leaves on it now normally, but um, they're beginning to get sort of. Okay. So and you wait till like yeah. after the first frost? Yeah. yeah. And you'll notice when you, everything else is going to be, have died down and be sort of brown and dry. And this stem will, in the fall, will be much redder. And so you'll notice that sort of red against everything else. Not bright red, but it, it has like a sort of brownie red color to Where it. Where do you go? Just in the woods somewhere? You'll see it once you, you, you notice it once. You'll see it on the sides of the roads and fields. There's a yeah. lot of pokeweed and then, um, goldenrod in the yeah. area where I'm Okay, yeah. So, so this will, you'll end up getting long fibers like this that are sort of almost like hair or, fl or, uh, or uh, flax. And these, so you're taking this, breaking with your fingers if you can. Some of the of the knots will be really difficult to break with your with your finger, so you can I step see it on looks that. Hollow. It's hollow, and then you'll just start at the end, breaking it down the middle. And then you can just break off little little bits at a time. If you're working toward the root end, it, it, it goes better. You don't break off as much extra fiber. You get to keep more. And then from that, you have the raw stuff still with the bark on. The only way I found to make it come off as clean as this is just to continually comb it. So I use a dog brush and just will dog brush it. And you end up getting, I'll, I can show you, like a, that it looks almost like a, like a little card. Okay, the mini carders. Yeah, so I use that. Or I've also just used a, a sort of hard plastic comb and use, use does that. Does it take a lot of your waste off? Though? It does like take this? a lot of waste. You could use something like that. There's a lot of waste that comes off. But I've taken the waste off and then spun that as well. It makes a sort of kind of fluffy, lumpy sort of yarn. So did you say you start at the root end? Start at the root end, yeah. You don't scrape the outer bark off? You don't scrape the outer bark. It will fall off if you do this sort of number. Also, if you leave it in, if you leave it outside, just in the real heat of the day, pull it in and then work with it, more of the bark will fall off. But I don't have a great cure-all for getting it off. But it will. You can see it really coming off already. Could you put through hackles? You could try. I, I would imagine it would do sort of a similar thing that the, that the brush or comb would. The girl in the video had, it was like something she was holding with combs and she was yanking. Yeah, okay. Well, in the video she was...